Good day. My name is Steve Dineski. I am a partner in Feely and Driscoll's Healthcare and Human Service Practice. Today, I plan to spend a few minutes discussing considerations of a financial risk management system and suggestions to effectively manage the elements of an organization's financial risk management. Should you have any questions regarding the information discussed, please feel free to call me at 888-875-9770. Financial risk management primarily concerns an organization's policies and actions to limit its exposure to financial risk, addressing both credit risk and market risk. However, today I would like to take the discussion on a bit of a tangent by reviewing how risk management practices can limit an organization's exposure to the misuse or misappropriation of its resources and limit its exposure to a misrepresentation of its financial position or results of operations. These would be considered the financial management system risk elements. Whether an organization is focusing on the security of its resources or the propriety of its financial statements, it must start with two basic risk considerations. What is the inherent risk associated with the financial management system? In other words, what is it about the overall context in which the organization operates that increases the risk of its resources or financial statements being compromised. It could be the size and complexity of the organization's business, the nature or volume of transactions, the regulatory environment in which it operates, the existence of and transactions with related parties, the methods for processing financial information, or the decentralization of its operations. Also, what is the control risk associated with the financial management system? Or, what is the risk that the organization's internal controls will not prevent or detect a misappropriation of its resources or a misstatement of its financial statements on a timely basis? An organization's response to the risk considerations is the embodiment of its internal controls. Internal controls represent the policies and procedures to ensure that an organization has accurate, timely financial information, that it complies with all laws and regulations, and that it safeguards its resources. In the development and implementation of internal controls, an organization should focus on the greatest areas of risk and the magnitude of that risk. It comes down to what could go wrong, and if it did, could it be material to the organization and its financial statements? After considering the risk elements and the likelihood of something going wrong, the organization should then look to its specific control policies and procedures to reduce that risk to an acceptable level. The implementation of control policies and procedures should encompass each component of an effective internal control system, including the organization's control environment, its tone at the top, management's risk assessment process, specific control activities, communication and information systems, and finally, monitoring systems. As with any system, changes in technology, staffing, and the operating environment require that an organization periodically review its system of internal control to ensure that it continues to adequately address the financial risks facing the organization. Management should establish a cyclical approach for the review and revision of controls that encompasses key controls over significant accounting cycles, the use of technology and its impact on financial reporting and the external exchange of information, financial management staffing capabilities and the adequate segregation of duties, the use of service organizations and the evaluation of their control policies and procedures, the basis for key accounting estimates, the physical safeguard of resources susceptible to misuse or misappropriation, and the flow of resources within the organization. Although the list of items that I've discussed provides a good outline for managing an organization's financial management system risks, it is just that, an outline. Organizations must ensure that their own individual systems are customized to effectively address the specific risk elements endemic in their operations. I hope that the information I have discussed provides a good foundation for the development and maintenance of a financial risk management system. If you have any questions or additional risk management considerations you would like to discuss,
please feel free to call me at 888-875-9770 or visit us on the web at www.fdcpa.com. Thanks for joining me and have a good day.